Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a history of the greatest cheater of all time, Alex Pacini. This is a guy who's been banned twice, caught on camera multiple times, and is back to playing magic. And that is the current standard we have. Actually, towards the end, I have a picture of him wearing a Lance Armstrong hoodie, which kind of is the same. Except cycling, being a real sport, is more harsh on cheating than Magic the Gathering is. So Magic the Gathering has a few different ideologies that I don't agree with. And if you played as long as I have played, you will understand that one of the stories uh, that Mero always talks, and he is the face of Magic, is about villains and heroes. For every great hero, you have to have an even greater villain. During the Odin Age, John Finkel was proclaimed the hero. But to do that, you needed a Mike Long, the villain, who was known to cheat, but they would, he was never punished. Now, yes, there was no cameras, and yes, it's... Imagine magic. Imagine how difficult it is to prove someone cheated in the earlier rounds when there are no judges looking at you all the time, there's no cameras. In the olden days, I, I think it's akin to when people used to steal at Walmart and Walmart didn't have cameras back then, or they used to steal at department stores. And then today, it's much harder to steal because there's cameras everywhere and Walmart tells you. And cameras are so cheap now that it would be foolish for any store not to have a camera system. You can have, you know, an 8 to 12 camera system for less than $300 on Amazon, and it all could be digitally recorded on a hard drive. But when you were dealing with magic, in magic, I would say pre 2000s, yeah, a lot of it wasn't, only the final round was filmed. And these people know better than to cheat in the final round, but you can cheat until you get there. So what type of pressure um, is Alex Bercini under? He has decided that he doesn't want to do anything but be a professional magic player. And he decided this a long time ago. This article, I believe, was 2011. Not just competing, but competing right is what Alex attributes his skills to. Instead of practice makes perfect, my father told me perfect practice makes perfect. Alex has always tried to practice in the right way, and that usually includes playing against people better than you. With consistent practice, a strong community, and a good mantra, he started traveling to events and crazily he started winning a lot. So very akin to Lance Armstrong when, I mean, pretty much if you accuse Lance of cheating, He's going to snap a picture of him in Austin with all his yellow jerseys, right? As his response. Not relevant, and but kind of a blank you. Alex is the same way. When he returned from his first ban, I mean, I'm, it's so funny that we talk about ban one, ban two. Like You never talk about any professional sport, someone being banned, banned, not suspended, banned two, two, two times and then coming back from the second ban. That's just, I mean, think about, I mean, can you someone name me one sport? Like Pete Rose was banned from the Hall of Fame. He's not coming back. That was one ban. Uh, most people don't survive one ban. For this guy to survive two is just all types of uh, crazy, right? But my point is when, when someone makes it, and they say, oh, I love my, you know, I want to do it the right way. I guarantee you they're not doing it the right way. The more often someone says, I have a mantra, I have a motto, and I have ethics, the least likely that they will actually do have ethics. Right? Ethics is for, ethics is not when you just keep winning. Ethics is what you do when you don't win. Do you play fair or do you cheat? It's easy to be a winner. It's hard to be a loser. And I've always said this about my worker bees and you know, the people we work with and vendors. I don't really care about how you act and behave when we are 
doing well and we're getting investor bids and we're, you know, people are interested in the company, I care about how hard you're going to work when we're not doing well, when we have a buyout and we don't have money. People change. And a lot of times I find that we go over a large turnover. A turnover rate is never, it never happens when we have good times. It only happens when we have bad times, which makes sense. But people, when you put some, the way to know if someone's really a good friend is what, what do they do and do they help you when it's not convenient for them and you, you need the most help. If there's no financial or favors or anything they can gain from helping you, that's a true friend. And you're not going to have very many of those in life. All right, tangent aside, I talk a little bit more about Alex. I always meet new people wherever I play. I crushed this one guy out of a round four in a tournament and was staying on his couch a month later. I've never met him before that. Does this sound like a safe occupation? Does this sound like a good job? I know, let me transition to females and magic um, because that is a popular trending topic right now. A male like Alex can probably do this. He can probably play a random stranger and then stay on his couch a month later and have never met him before that. I would think that would be very dangerous for a female. And here he is with the Live Strong Occupation, MTG, uh, standard, let's see, yes, the best cards, standard record, 8 So here's, here's what I need to say about this, and I'll make it very, very crystal clear on my stance. If you're a cheater, you are always a cheater. You get addicted to winning. And if you are MTG and your whole livelihood depends on MTG in some way, you're going to cheat because you had to win. Everything that you have, your money, the roof over your head, the gas in your car, that comes from winning. It might You might get sponsorships, but the sponsors don't sponsor people who lose. They only care about if you win. The same with content. No one watches you know, a, a random Scrubs content, right? They only, only watch LSV. You can have the best personality ever, but... Unless you're, you're a winner like LSV, PV, and all these people, it, none of that matters. There's so many more people like you. There's so many people ready to replace you. The system that Magic the Gathering has falsely set up with false hope that you can make a living from this is absolutely not correct. And I don't blame Alex for cheating because he has to, to live and survive. I blame kind of just the way that we currently look at pros and the way that we currently... I know a lot of you don't like when I say this stuff because it sounds overly negative, but we have enough positive people in the community, right? I mean, there's so many more positive channels than negative channels in the community, and that's just a nature of views. My response, it's easy to be positive. It's easy to be like, oh, magic is great, and everyone's getting value. It's super easy to do that, but it's super easy super difficult to make a video like this because then that means Alex and I can never be good friends. And that means Alex's girlfriend is going to say bad stuff about me. And that means all Alex's friends are going to dislike me. It's the same thing with um, the uh, Jacob, the soy boy who got one of my videos banned. All of his friends hate my guts. That's difficult to do. It's easy to be liked, difficult to be hated. But sometimes... I believe Chow Chow said this. I was playing uh, Dynasty Warriors in PS PlayStation 1 or 2. I forget which Dynasty. I think it was PS2. No, it was PlayStation 1. Mm. Anyway, it was Dynasty Warriors I was playing last night with some friends. And, you know, one of the statements, and I always I remember this when I was a child, and it was sometimes you had to wear the mask of the villain to do the greatest good. I think that's applied here. Um, do we have better card stock? Answer no. Do we have judges who are sexual offenders? Answer yes. If you want chains, you have to be a villain. Every person who's done 
great cha- I was watching on Netflix Abraham Lincoln and if you I mean it was, it's a great movie it's uh by Steven Spielberg so it's a really good movie I don't know how accurate it is but the 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 actors were very good I mean people really didn't like Lincoln back then um that's very apparent from the movie to the point that they assassinate him and the greater chains that you make or the chains that you want to make like MLK and even even to the point of like calling Kaepernick um if you want to make chains there are going to be a lot of people who hate you it's easy to be loved it's difficult to be hated so if I want chains in the pros, I want them to call each other out on cheating. I want them to take a hard stance on, hey, no more, no more Alex. You've been banned twice. People have been banned for life, like MTG headquarters for not cheating and not even playing magic. And this is not acceptable. Until pros stop supporting Alex, I mean pros, I mean, let's give, reasons that somebody gets gets banned pro okay this dude i don't really know who's in university of richmond law school um he we checked his criminal record and he was accused and uh, obviously you guys know who i'm talking about let's put him on blast all right he's banned for life and we took away his mtg magic account or he's banned until like 2049 mtg headquarters Uh oh he uh saying some stuff that we don't like let's ban him for life Magic for good. Travis Wu. It is ridiculous that they don't ban a cheater for life. And I'm not going to say that we should unban MTG headquarters. And maybe like he does, he does more from the shadows type of deal. But I'm saying that this dude's got to go. He's just got to go. Because I can't. And can you name one time someone was banned two times? And is now still able to compete at the highest level. He could win a pro tour right now. I, I can't imagine any other instance in sport or non-sport history, esport history, when someone was banned twice. I know Tyler one was banned once, but I mean now he's back. I, I don't think he can. I don't even think he can survive a second ban. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.